Just inside the entrance at Drimley Graveyard, there is a memorial dedicated to those buried in this site during the Great Famine. Her lofty scenes, her valleys green. This marks the site of a mass grave used during Ungortamor, Ireland's great hunger of the 1840s. And this mass grave site is known locally as Paul Ungorta. Oh, why did you abandon it? Sorry. West Cork was one of the worst affected areas in Ireland during the famine and the Drimalig area lost some 42% of its people to disease, starvation and emigration during that terrible time. We have some horrific reports about famine conditions in Drimalig including this witness statement from Dr. Dan Donovan about the village of Meanies, just north of Drimalig, which appeared in the Illustrated London News in February 1847. A man of the name of Healy died in the parish of Drimalig about a fortnight ago. His wife and two children remained in the house until the smell from the body drove them from their companionship with the dead. The remains of poor Healy were left in the house and a day or two afterwards, some people passing his cabin heard loud snarling coming from within. And on entering, found the gnarled and mangled skeleton of Healy, contended for by a pack of hungry dogs and pigs that were completing their horrid banquet on his putrid remains. Nothing remains of the village of Meanies today, but we do have another famine story told by children from that village about a man called Ned Good, who was paid to bury the dead during the famine. One day, Ned was followed by the Meanies children as he brought a body to the graveyard. The children saw the supposedly dead man raise his arm and to their horror, Ned struck the arm with his spade and continued to bury the body. The children rushed to get help and the buried man was saved. Reverend Tucky Vicar at this church in Drimalee during the famine wrote about the graveyard in March 1847. You might see pieces of coffins lying in the churchyard here, the bodies having been torn up and devoured by dogs. The head constable told me that on last Sunday, just before we went to church, a body was found, half eaten dragged across the wall. And in dead of night unseen, I heaved a sigh. We saw a woman with her son on her back. She brought him to be buried without a coffin. And when that was done, she went home for another. Last Sunday, we saw her again there. She had just buried her seventh and last.